Maybe as Asia as Asia, I think this is the first time. I think so. Yeah, I think this is the first time as like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I play Australia, but I didn't play anywhere in Asia like Asia, Asia. Yeah. So yeah, this is the first time. Nice, nice. To be honest, I'm pretty excited, you know, because this is totally new place for me, and I like coming to new places and checking out new crowds because. I've been DJing for so many years, so like every 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 new crowd is, in a way, um, something that I want to try. And it's um, what's the word? Um, um, it's a um, challenge, to, you know, to, to 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 come everywhere and work a crowd because everywhere is different. I didn't prepare anything. I never, I never prepare for my gigs. Uh, I mean, I have my music that I, you know, some new music, some old music. But I usually, I, I never prepare my sets. It's, you know, just see. It's the, it's the, it, it, the, the, for me, for DJing, beside the production, as a DJ, it's the, that's, that's the challenge that I was talking about. That you come and you see people and you, feel them and you try to feel them and you try to find the bond through music uh, so yeah I don't know what I'm gonna play I mean usually I play for girls so I always want to make girls be you know happy so if they're happy I'm happy well uh, I think it last year it was uh, a little bit struggling but now I think this year is it's gonna come. I think that music and house music, especially, is like it's, it's always recycling. So I think now that we have like recycling from 10 years ago, so disco house and funky house are coming back again, which is my favorite, uh, favorite, how to say, favorite type of house music so I'm really happy and I really I really love the situation now and how it's progressing well I don't have anyone in particular but uh, it's just uh, many people now at this moment I think at this moment many young people because the good thing with uh, with modern technologies and internet and everything is like you have a lot of really young people uh, coming to house music and making house, house music and reinventing house music that is maybe something that is pushing me now I like to listen to really young people like you have like kids like 16, 17, 18 years old making incredible house music the thing is I've been DJing for 16 years already and uh, I've been producing from let's say 2000 and 2000 2001 I was trying to produce something but it, it took me almost like 10 years 9 to 10 years to come to the sound that I that I want to to produce uh, I mean I was really trying to do something different and I think two years ago and a year ago uh, what I said is music house music for me come to some problem years uh, <laughs> uh, I, I just wanted to make music that I can play in clubs so in general that's my rule of thumb I just the music that I make is the music that I want to play in clubs that's it so that's the reason that, that, that's the way how why don't you came out I was experimenting with, with jazz and with blues and with punk music and uh, it, it just came like that. I mean, there's an there's a interesting story about because I did that track for my girlfriend because she was really fond of the original. So she is the, she is the one, that's her idea for the, for, the, for the sample. But in general, that kind of music, that kind of house is something that I was really looking for for quite some time. Well, it's, it's strange.
strange because in one way I don't like it. I don't like it uh, for the reason because if there, there's some when I say young producers. Uh, if you're a young producer and uh, you want to make something I and mean, then you make something, uh, it's really hard for you to get money to get better equipment so that you can, you know, expand your possibilities and, and, and uh, your talent. But on the other way, illegal download is good because uh, nowadays you can, you can connect with and find new talents you know through the illegal download you know and through not just illegal download i think there are not many illegal downloads nowadays i think there, there, there is much more sharing like people uh well now you got me in the deep philosophy but young people because of the illegal downloads they don't see any more value in releasing music so they're just sharing it and their main goal is to get known and to get gigs and get playing around but we'll see i think that in in future uh the illegal download has to to come to some how to say it has to be stopped because i think that will be good for the music industry earplugs which I, all, which, I, which I forgot in my hotel. Uh, and it's going to be hard for me. Uh, my Jedi headphones that I really like. <laughs> so, five things. Uh, girls, Jack Daniels, and uh, good monitoring. That's it. Hi everyone. You're watching dancesignal.com and I'm Marco Gramofonzi. Cheers.